Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Rocket League Sideswipe on your PC as well as how to set it up with controller or keyboard. I, I was originally going to release another montage this Sunday, but I decided to hold off till next Sunday since I'm not like I'm not that far into the edit yet, but look forward to that next week. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so you're gonna go to the site Big Knox. It'll be bignox.com. Link will be in the description as always. And then you're gonna want to install either one. I'm just gonna install the optimized version because why not? I had had it previously installed, but I installed it uninstalled it for this tutorial. So wait for that to download. Uh, pop up asking to make changes to your device just click yes you can customize your download folder if you want I already selected mine and it still remembers so just gonna want to go ahead and download that all right it finished installing I'm gonna log in it might already be saved but you can log in if you want because you might have already plugged in your phone and you can connect to the same account on here. So, Alright, once you're done logging in, it's going to bring you to this page. I'm just going to go to my home first. And it actually, I think it is it auto installing. I think if you get the optimized version, it auto installs. But if you would like to um, actually find it yourself, you can just go to the app store and search. I don't know if it, you have to be logged in though. Oh yeah, right here, the Google Play Store and then you can just install Swipe Sideswipe. All right, once it's done, it should appear as an app now and at your home, which you can open up, allow. It should ask me to log in when I load in. I'm gonna just log in with Epic Games. All right, I'm just logged into Epic Games. As you can see, I already has the keyboard laid out right now, but I'm before you do anything, it's best to just head into Free Play so that you can see where the layouts are on mobile. So if you wanted to use your keyboard, you can basically go up to your keyboard mapping top right and just select keyboard. Default, it's usually on controller or it's like, actually you no, know, default is keyboard, but if you don't have your controller plugged in, you won't be able to select controller. Oh. But with this, you should just by default be able to use your keyboard to play. If the buttons are like not adjusted to your liking you can go up here and click on them to change the key so basically you can have whatever you want space and shift to boost if you want it as for a controller you're just gonna wanna plug in your controller I have a PS PlayStation controller so you might have Xbox but all controllers will work. Now I'm going to select controller and as you can see by default it has them all laid out already. I like to change it to my Rocket League binds though. There we go. Now, now it works on here as well. Which is really nice. I, keep, I always accidentally press my right trigger and it brings up in the menu, but controller is probably my preferred way to play. If you have a controller, I'd probably recommend it over a keyboard. Actually, it depends on what you play Rocket League with, though. But controller just feels really good to me. Anyways, that's basically all you have to do for the tutorial. I don't you shouldn't have to select this I did I think it helps with ps4 controller and you can change some of the settings if you want but 
I might start playing without anything on, so if I ever get any clips, you won't see the buttons. But other than that, that's going to be for the tutorial. If you guys have any questions or concerns, just make sure to comment down below or join my Discord server. Link will be in the description. And you can talk to me directly. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace. I want